we writers of historical fiction, we often choose characters who are a bit ahead of their time in that I think if you choose somebody who is quite rebellious or who asks questions, the modern reader will click with, with them more easily. However, you don't want somebody who's anachronistic. You know, it, it just makes the reader wince if somebody has a sort of 20th century therapy culture thought, you know, when it's the 1850s, and she wouldn't have thought that way. And I love that moment in writing historical fiction when, when one minute your reader is thinking, oh, yeah, no, I'm with her, I, oh, I get what's going on, and then the nurse will express some, you know, chillingly snobbish attitude, and you suddenly think, oh, she thinks the Irish are hairy apes, and you recoil from her. So I love that, you know, to what and from. Rabble, what a rabble, she says, the Irish, shiftless, thriftless, hopeless, hapless, always brooding over past wrongs, their tracks going nowhere, their trees hung with putrid rags. That's about right. <laughs> That's about right.